Hi there, Leo. Thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for September. The month begins with Mars and Pluto forging an awesome link. Pluto is the planet of change. Mars is all about our drive. But it can also, in a kind of way, be about our bodies. And I think this is a great opportunity for you to think very carefully about what you're putting in your system in order to create energy. If it's more trashy, convenience food, even if it's because you feel you're justifying it, that you're very, very busy, like we all do, well, if you can be a lot more disciplined, this could be a transformational time for you where you really do get yourself working much more efficiently. And just think, the quality of the fuel it equates to the quality of the output. So therefore, you can feel sharper, more alert, more able to take on life's challenges. From a relationship viewpoint, the seventh is a truly awesome moment because Venus, the planet of love, arrives in your sign. It's been working through a tricky area where you may have gone through a period of not being quite sure what you want from your love life, even if you're already in a relationship. If you're Footloose and Fancy 3, you may have even been thinking about contacting an old flame, you may have even bumped into them in person. Now you can draw a line in the sand within yourself. It's not necessarily about your physical circumstances, it's your relationship to them. And Venus in Leo really helps you to have that extra confidence and pizzazz about what makes you an individual. You can be a grand person. That is your role in the Zodiac. So it's all about being admired, respected at the very least. And of course, the bonus ball is being absolutely adored. And this can draw lots of goodness your way, particularly when on the 17th, Mercury moves into a very quick-witted part of your scope. And the combination between the two can see you at your flirtiest best in the second half of this month. But financially, week two sees you with an opportunity to come up with quite a brainwave to improve your situation. The downside is don't jump to any conclusions around finances. There is a new moon, which occurs on the 16th, which can help you to be more constructive about money. And if you are trying to earn more, a little tip for you is that your ideas can help you to do it, or it could be linked to the internet. Now Saturn, the planet of structure, has been in your sector of personal expression for the last two and a half years. This will be the last month. It's going to be in this area for a few days into October before waving au revoir. But for now, it's kind of saying to you all the lessons that you've learned about being more disciplined about what you think, about how you ex explain things to people, and understanding how people view you. It's all been in sharp focus at times, and there have been some bumpy moments along the way. But now I start to feel you will feel a lot more enabled, particularly when the sun moves on the 23rd, because this is saying to you, you can now demonstrate really quite well the things that you've learned, the ideas and skills that have grown during that period of time. And if you've really, really worked hard, I do feel that a lot more people are going to get to know about you, either locally or beyond, in the latter part of this month. It's been a real pleasure being with you, Leo. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Hello, if you'd like a live astrology, psychic, or tarot reading on a one-to-one -one basis, why not link with the people beneath this video, put this link in your browser, and this is my team of psychics. Your live reading starts at a very competitive rate, and also, if you do have a reading and you're just not totally happy with it, we'll give you your money back. You can't really say fairer than that. Thank you.